know, the music doesn't sound as scary when it's 100 degrees outside. But, you know, we're kind of setting the mood. This is Cindy Dole, Home Wizards here every Saturday, 2 to 4, to to rock your world and help you make uh, those spaces you call home uh, better, brighter, a lot more fun. And, and that includes spooky decorations for Halloween. And with me is Alicia Warden, who has been working uh, really all year long on these 100 days of Halloween and hon- ho- holidays program, I should say. It's not just Halloween, but it's Thanksgiving and Christmas and on and on and on. So, Alicia Warden, thanks for giving us more of your insight and a sneak peek at all the good stuff. You can go to bhg.com by the way, and uh, uh, forward slash holidays, and you'll see all the stuff. So let's talk about the indoor decorations, if we could. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunities in your home to um, decorate inside for Halloween. Um, One of the most popular things to do is centerpieces and um, anything you can put on your table. So, you know, if you're having a Halloween party, that's an opportunity to do something kind of fun and kind of special. Um, It can be as simple as you know, going to your local grocery store or farmer's market and picking up miniature gourds and pumpkins and just arranging them in a bowl or on a platter. And for Halloween, if you're looking for something a little bit more scary, um, you can add in fake spiders or I've seen these really great um, faux crows and they look like the real thing. I mean, (laughs) they're like, they have the beady little eyes and feathered body. Yeah. (laughs) So if you really want to freak people out, that's you know, that's an option for you. Um, And the great thing about something like that is once Halloween is over, you can take out the scary elements and add in things like pine cones or acorns for a more um, harvest look for Thanksgiving. I like also the uh, the webbed chandelier I'm seeing on, on your website. And who knew? You basically are suggesting we use an old umbrella. Everyone's got one of those umbrellas that doesn't work anymore in the closet. And then what do you do? You add some kind of a fabric. Yep. Um, There you can get fake spider webs at, um, you know, any craft store. Or I've seen, too, people use old pantyhose, too, and stretch those out and use that as spider webs. Very clever idea. And that can become your instant uh, little chandelier over the dining room table or somewhere in the entryway. Very cool. Oh, I'm seeing the picture of the crow in the cage. That's that's a fun one. What else? <laughs> oh, I saw a good idea. How, I'm not sure if you have this on your website. Using candy corn. Have you, have you heard about that? Using candy corn? Yeah. yeah. Yep. There's a lot of different things you can do with candy corn. Um, one of my favorites that I've seen is actually um, filling a, can- a vase full of candy corn and then um, what you do is you set, you, t- you take two round, um, wide mouth vases and you stick one inside the other one and you fill up the space between the two vases with candy corn and then you put water in the center vase and put flowers in it or um, you could put branches with leaves on them in there. So, and you have a nice little centerpiece or something you can, you know, put on your mantle or on a side table. And the good thing about candy corn is that, uh, well, it'll last for a little while. I mean, it should last for a few weeks. You, you know, you're not going to want to eat it, but... <laughs> so, and, oh, yeah. and I like the haunted... Ch- ...for a little while, yeah. You I don't like want to eat that. The haunted uh, chair covers that you also have, it's, it looks like it's kind of a black mesh fabric yeah. that's draped over a chair, and then you've got an orange ribbon uh, tying in, in the back. Yep. Yeah, and that's, again, something really simple and quick and easy you can do... Um, what the material is called tool, T U L L E, and you can get it at any fabric store, and it's pretty cheap. Um, you know, anywhere from a dollar to a dollar fifty per yard, and you know, you just get a, a long length of that and drape it over your dining room chairs and tie a, an orange ribbon around it, and instant decoration. And if you're having a Halloween uh, adult costume party, I've always wanted to do this. I think it'd be so much fun. Uh, these creepy coasters, that seems like a cute thing that you could make and maybe even uh, give it away. Everyone gets to take them home. You're saying make it with, what, a black foam and, and paint in a tube? Yep, yep, that's how you do that. And, yeah, those make great party favors. You know, they kind of serve a dual purpose. They'll protect your furniture during the party, and then it's a nice little party favor people can take home with them. So what, what, what kind of black foam is that? Um, it's, let's see here. It's some kind of a craft foam, I guess. Yeah, it's a craft foam. Um, it comes in just little sheets 
and oh. you can just buy it at a craft store and you yeah okay um, like a michaels or war yep. joanne fabrics or whatever yep. but okay yep. i've never seen that thin of a foam but it's a cute idea and then the yeah. paint they've used uh, like a white to show the webbing effect you've kind of cut mm-hmm. out spider webs it looks very mm-hmm. clever yep. um and then in, if we are going to have a Halloween costume party, you have some ideas of uh, other things that we can do to really set the mood for our guests. Yeah. Um, food is a great opportunity to do that. Um, there's all kinds of great ideas on the website for creepy food um, and things you can do like um, one of my favorite is the moldy cheese balls. Oh. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. It looks really gross, but I um, it's cream cheese, so you know, it's going to taste pretty good. Yeah. So what it is is it's just uh, cream cheese that you roll into a, a ball shape, and there's a couple other ingredients in there, and then you roll it in fresh herbs. So, you know, it gets that mm. green kind of crusty look and um, serve it with crackers or vegetables. And, you know, if people can get past the appearance, it, they taste pretty good. And so. you've got to have a Halloween beverage, and for us, oh. that always is uh, with the dry ice. We always get, uh, you mm-hmm. know, you can buy edible dry ice, not that you mm-hmm. want to eat it, but it's in other words, it's okay if it comes in contact with the fluid yep. that you drink, yep. and, and then you have the instant cemetery, you know, the, the fog that is yep. flowing through the room. It's so fun to do. Yes. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah. Well, uh, it's been great to have you here, and there's so many ideas. I mean, you literally have 100 days of holidays, so we can go there and check out not only Halloween, but Thanksgiving and Christmas, and we'll just have to have you back to talk about, yeah. well, more holidays are coming. You know what it means, yeah. Alicia. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we have a great... Um, um, email newsletter available, and you can just sign up for that on the website, and you'll get a daily um, email kind of outlining what, you know, different ideas for Halloween and then for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So oh. sign up for that. So awesome. It's really great. There's all kinds of tips and great things in it. Well, you are, I bet your home is always looking perfect with all these great ideas that you have at your <laughs> fingertips. So, Alicia, thank you for sharing with us. Uh, Better Homes and Gardens Interactive Editor, Alicia Warden, and check out the site, bhg.com. Very cool. Well, and speaking of Halloween, by the way, I already have some feelers up for next Saturday. We're going to talk with some folks who really decorate their home to the point where it could be a movie. I mean, some of these people studied film or are currently in the film industry, and so you can imagine people want to drive by to see what their haunted home looks like. So that's going to be something fun next Saturday to explore. But right now, right after this break, we're going to talk about gardening and this landscape uh, architect who is always just the life of the party. He knows how to bring magic to your yard. He's done it for Disney, and he's done it for all kinds of folks, and he's going to help us too. So that's next. This is Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dolan. If you have a million dollars, it helps, but you don't have to. We'll help you out right here. Next. Maybe an ice chest or an ottoman. And if I had a million.